Hello, welcome back to another LEGO review video. Today we're going to be looking at the highly anticipated Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. This set released January 1st, 2024, has 215 pieces and insane 9 minifigures, including some new standard Phase 2 Clone Troopers and the return of the Super Battle Droid. So if you're like me and you remember the original Clone and Battle Droid Battle Packs, this set really feels nostalgic. We see a lot of familiar crossovers with the Staff and Super Battle Droids on the droid side and the double-seated speeder, the turret, shock trooper, and phase 2 clones for the clone side. This set really feels like a merger between those two original packs. Now something that is different here is the droid side is swapped the carrier with the tri-droid. Here is that tri-droid. The build is very sturdy, the head can spin around as it would in universe while it's shooting, which is a fun little feature. The legs hold up the droid well and are connected with these ratcheted joints and are very poseable, adding a lot of displayability and playability. They really packed in a lot of details and play features into this build. And speaking of playability, there are three flick fire missiles which work quite nicely. Now something that is completely unnecessary, but just so nice that they added, is the brain for the droid. This is something that you wouldn't even know is there unless you built the set, but it's such a small and thoughtful little easter egg for those who know it's there. This tri-droid build is such a great inclusion for this battle pack. The Stap is the first of several familiar builds in this pack. It's a small build and very similar to the other Staps LEGOs released. There aren't any crazy building techniques as it is just a Stap, but it comes with a clear rod and dish to hold it up, and this also allows the build to be very swooshable, further adding to the playability of this pack. The battle droid on the Stap comes with a clip to hold its blaster and two curved droid arms to fully connect it to the handles. There's not much more I can say about this build. It's always nice to add more Staps to the collection. Moving on to the clone side of the pack, we'll start off with this turret. It's a very small and compact build that uses these shield pieces for the front armor, which can be removed and given to a figure if desired. This is a simple yet effective way to get this slanted shape. The turret is armed with a single stud shooter. This works in the same way they've always worked and adds a nice play feature to what is otherwise a fairly plain design. The stud shooter can swivel around from side to side, but outside of that, there isn't much more I can say about this. Up next we have the double seated speeder. The design is fairly bulky due to it being compact in length, combine that with the side stud shooters that stick out quite a bit, and you're left with a design that almost looks like a microfighter. There are two slots that hold blasters for the back rider to shoot. This is a nice inclusion and callback to the original design. This comfortably holds both the gunner and the driver's blasters. Speaking of, here is what the speeder looks like with both the driver and the gunner seats occupied. The blasters in the back need to be moved down to add the gunner, but they can be brought back up into position once in place. The driver has some room to lean back, but the gunner has to sit upright. This is where I think the compact design really starts to look like a microfighter. To me it just looks a little awkward having the two riders on this small design. They're also sitting so high up. It seems as though the speeder would be very top and back heavy. But if I'm being honest, these are really just nitpicks. Sure, it's not the best speeder design, but it is a good callback to the original clone battle pack. Moving on to the figures, we get two of these standard B1 battle droids. Nothing too special about them, they're the same ones we've been getting since the dawn of time. This is where the fun begins. We get three, that's right three, of these new molded super battle droids. After years and years, they finally return with some much needed improvements, including a thinner head, stronger joints, and if I get the lighting right, we can see there's a small indentation on the left next to the head, right there. The rest of the mold looks very similar to the previous molds, but no complaints from me. It's absolutely fantastic that we're getting Super Battle Droids again. Moving on to the clone minifigures, we'll start off with the Shock Trooper. This is the same Shock Trooper figure that came with the Coruscant Guard gunship. The red printing from helmet to toe is really nice. This figure comes with blaster pistol and binoculars. And turning the trooper to the side, we can see that yes, this figure does have helmet holes. And on the back, there isn't a ton of detail other than the red belt there. Last but not least, we have the return of the Phase 2 clone trooper. Similar to the return of the Super Battle Droid in this set, we get three of these Phase 2 clones. This clone is the same basic print as the other clones, but with no colored markings as expected. This figure also comes with helmet holes. And turning the figure around, we can see there's not a whole lot on the back. All in all, this is a fantastic figure, and getting three of them is just outstanding for army building. One final thing I forgot to mention is that we get this little crate. Inside it, we have a 1x1 round tile with a great print of a thermal detonator. So, with the new Super Battle Droids and the new Phase 2 clones, this is a very exciting set. 
The side builds are great with a little room for improvement on the speeder, but it's still a nice inclusion. Getting 9 figures and 4 side builds for $30 is a crazy good deal, and whether you're an army builder, collecting, or just a kid who wants to have fun playing with the set, this set is a must have. As you can see with the lineup we have in front, it's really mind blowing that this set is only $30. Couple that with the nostalgia of the original battle packs and you have a near perfect set in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you've made it this far, please hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next video.